All right. So my dear fellow listeners and viewers, the purpose of this video is to clarify some confusion when it comes to the municipal election 2022. Right? Obviously, we don't have election happening all the time. It only happens every four years, right? And so, I mean, people have questions, right? And so I get it that many of you need clarification. So here's the deal. For those who are running for regional chair, that includes myself and two other people, right? Our names will be on all the ballots, right? So if you live in Kitchener, my name will be on the ballot. So you can just vote for me there. <laughs> if you live in Cambridge, right? Same deal. My name will be on the ballot. Same deal. You just uh, vote along that line. If you're in Waterloo, same, same thing. And all the other townships, as well too, right, in the region of Waterloo here. The regional council is total, totally different, right? So if people are running for regional council and if they live in Kitchener to represent Kitchener, their name would only appear here in Kitchener, right? For the people who are running for regional council to represent Cambridge, their name will only appear on the Cambridge ballot. And again, my name, let's make it nice and easy, my name will appear on all the ballot, regardless of where you live in the region of Waterloo. So this should help to clear things up here. So I know um, it gets confusing with different levels of government, right? Because you vote section by section kind of thing, so to speak, but this is nice and easy. So if you are in Waterloo, you like to support me, my name would be on the ballot. So go and um, support, um, support by actually casting the vote on October 24th. Um, Cambridge, you will live in Cambridge, as I said, you know, Kitchener and then the, um, you know, in all the different township here in region Waterloo, uh, my name will be on there. So nice and easy. If you have any questions or so, the best bet is to visit your local um, municipal website. They have all the information there, but very straightforward. I hope that you find this fruitful. So do take the opportunity to share it around um, to folks. Um, so that way, you know, they have a better sense as to um, how this whole thing works in terms of voting um, here. I, I get it. Trust me on this one. I get it that it is very, very confusing, but, uh, and obviously that's one of the reasons why, you know, I do bits and pieces of videos just so that we can somehow try our best to streamline it to make it a lot easier on people. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. My name is Narayan Sapram. Wishing you a great today and even better tomorrow. I'll talk to you soon.